Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Essence. Welcome back to another video. There are some Parfum de Marly fragrances that I really look forward to wearing as the weather starts to get a little bit cooler outside. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my top 10 favorite Parfum de Marly fragrances for the autumn. Very excited to get on with this list, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this video of my top 10 favorite Parfum de Marly fragrances for the autumn slash fall, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like fragrance reviews or top 10 videos just like this, but also giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And also while you're at it, if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would really, really mean a lot to me. Let's go ahead and jump on into the list. I'm super excited to talk to you about my top 10 favorite Parfum de Marly fragrances for the autumn. And I'm gonna start things off with one that is a little bit unconventional. And this one is called Darley. So this one has this barbershop type of a feel very classy, very elegant. It's one of the unsung heroes and one of the hidden gems from the brand. Of course, there's also Shagia and there's Lipizan and there's some other fragrances that don't get as much of a uh, hype, if you will. But Darley is a really nice sort of a fresh lavender, a little mossy as well, a touch of sweetness on account of vanilla. And I think it's perfect for this time of the year. And so if you're looking for something to really set you apart and maybe you've explored the other DNAs of the brand, but you want to get into something that you have not yet tried, definitely check this out. Again, all of the links to discover these fragrances are going to be down below. Now, the next fragrance I put a little bit low on the list. It's actually in the number nine spot because I actually like to wear this fragrance all year round. I think this one is pretty versatile. I don't think it's just for the autumn. And so instead of featuring it a little bit higher up on this list, I put it in the number nine spot, but I really do enjoy this one. This is Percival. So this is a nice citrusy, lavender, sort of an icy kind of a fragrance. It really has a little bit of that minty sensation in here, although there really is no mint in the note breakdown. It has ice flower, uh, but it does have that spicy, fresh lavender in here. Might remind you of fragrances like Fierce by Abercrombie & Fitch, or maybe even Legend by Mont Blanc, but it's done in a little bit uh, stronger and more complex fashion, and it definitely conveys that niche quality. So Percival, really great Swiss Army Knife, versatile fragrance by the company Parfum de Marly. The next one that I want to talk about is, of course, Leighton. So you're not going to see any Leighton exclusive in this list. You're not going to see any Acaster in this list. You're not going to see uh, some of those other darker, heavier fragrances, especially some of the ones from the Arabian Breed collection, uh, just because there are so many that I would like to save for the winter time. So Leighton exclusive is one of those. But the original Leighton with that apple, that fresh, citrusy, sweet, vanilla, apple, geranium vibe that it gives off. Very sort of um, night out, partying, clubbing type of a fragrance. And it's also the best selling fragrance from the company Parfum de Marly. And I think it does really, really well in the autumn, but also the winter time as well. And if you can wear it on a cool spring day, I would definitely recommend it as well. I probably just wouldn't wear it in the dead of summer when it's like really, really hot outside. I think the sweetness could be a little bit cloying. Now this next fragrance, I actually like for the spicy elements that it contains, and it's Kalan. So Kalan is bright, it's red, it's fiery, it's, it's a little vicious, you know, it's definitely a darker fragrance, and it has that slightly sweet vibe going on in there, almost like the saffron vibe as well. And I specifically like it because it reminds me of Mastic Oil or Lentisque, uh, which is actually not listed in the note breakdown, but I get that exotic resinous vibe from it. I love Kalan by Parfum de Marly. I've reviewed most of these, so if you wanna check my in-depth thoughts on any of these, you can go ahead and do a very quick search here on YouTube and uh, hopefully it conveys the information that you're looking for in regards to any specific research that you're doing on any individual fragrances from the brand. Now, the next one should have been a little bit higher up on this list. I don't know what I was thinking, but I really love this one. This one is Herod. Herod is vanilla, tobacco. It has this honey nuance about it. It's so dark and syrupy and thick and balsamic and resinous and even a little incensey at times. It's such a deep, and well-composed fragrance by Parfum de Marly. And it's perfect, that tobacco sweet sort of cherry-like vibe that's in here with the honey and the vanilla and the, the balsamic 
texture that it has so amazing for the colder weather specifically the autumn and the winter time and so i'm going to be wearing a lot of herod as i have done in previous years one of the first fragrances that i purchased by parfum de marley in addition to pegasus the next fragrance that i want to talk about is habdan now habdan also has a little bit of a balsamic quality about it uh, but i mentioned in my review it actually kind of reminds me of chamomile and it's really weird how you know fragrances can sort of do that there's no chamomile listed in the note breakdown but whenever i think of chamomile i think of chamomile tea and i typically drink tea when it's cold outside and so i think that that mental association itself makes me want to wear this in the colder weather uh, but i also think it's a performance that makes me want to wear it in the colder weather apart from the marley fragrances are notorious for lasting a very very long time which of course is a good thing it means that the fragrances are made with quality ingredients and that they're strongly concentrated if it were fleeting and it dissipated after you know five ten minutes i would say you either got yourself a counterfeit or you're dealing with a fragrance that is not composed using quality ingredients. And that's certainly something that I can't say about any Parfum de Morley fragrance. I think they're all awesome. So I was actually surprised with the versatility of this next one, because even when it's nice and cool outside, I can still get wafts of this fragrance and it's green leaf. Tart, green apple, citrusy kind of a fragrance. It also has this sort of Hesperides accord in the base that it's very fresh and musky, but like very uplifting and very long lasting as well. I really like that vanilla, fruity, citrusy apple thing that's happening in here. It's an amazing, amazing fragrance. Quite versatile as well. Maybe I wouldn't wear it in the dead of winter, but it is pretty versatile. You know my philosophy. If you're wearing fragrances in a climate controlled environment, you can really pull them off whenever you want. The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is coming in the number three spot. It's my favorite Parfum de Marley of all time, and it's called Carlisle. Now this one is dark, the vanilla that's in here, it's seductive, it's strong, it's powerful, it's robust, it's decadent, it's a little bit on the sweet side, but it also has these sophisticated elements as well. And of course, the colder weather is the best time to wear Carlisle, just because it really will get you noticed. It really jumps up off your skin. And if you wear it in the hotter weather, like I said, in the case of, um, something like Kalan or Herod, it could be a little bit cloying. And so because this one does have the vanilla and it does have that touch of sweetness in the base, it could be a little cloying in the summertime, but autumn is definitely the time to wear it. The fragrance in the number two spot is of course, Pegasus Exclusive. And the fact that this fragrance is in the list is the sole reason why the original Pegasus is not in this list. The original Pegasus with the Jasmine note, I love wearing that one in the springtime. Sure, you can wear it in the summertime as well. That touch of almond adds that perfect spicy nuance. But I think this one with the cardamom and the other spices that are in here and the that coffee-like texture, the agarwood that's in the base is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance for the autumn and the winter time. But the fragrance in my number one spot, you have the vanilla, you have the cinnamon, you have the apple. I don't even know if these notes are in the note breakdown, but I personally get them. And it's so spicy and warm and, and rich and flavorful. And many of you probably know which one it is. I think when it comes to autumn fragrances, this one is very quickly climbing to the top of my list. And I've neglected it in previous years, but it's one of my favorites. And this one is called Oajan. I think if you're a fan of fragrances like Angel Share by Killian Paris, this one came out first, by the way. And if you're a fan of Ambre Narguilé by Hermes, you're gonna love Oajan. Oajan is an amazing, fruity, spicy, cinnamony, um, richly textured, autumnal offering from Parfum de Marley, just absolutely amazing. And so I hope you took something of value from this video. I hope you enjoyed my list of my top 10 favorite Parfum de Marley fragrances for the autumn. If you did, show your support by either subscribing to this channel, leaving a like or both. I would really prefer it if you could do both. Thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you took something of value from this video. I appreciate you all. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Bye.